Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I agree. The Health Committee in the National Assembly has up to now held a number of sittings probing the Kenya Medical Supplies Authority on the alleged COVID-19 corruption scandal, especially on procurement of personal protective equipment. Following their probe on the presence of unused PPEs in Kemsa warehouses, the committee led by its chair, Sabina Chege, on Tuesday paid a visit at industrial area offices to find out whether the equipment worth billions could be traced or not. We are going through a difficult moment to understand the reverse procurement that was done by Kemsa. And so the second category of items that were procured here, they were brought to the warehouses, they were negotiated, and they are not yet paid. And also we have a third category of items that have been received by Kemsa in these warehouses. They have not negotiated with the suppliers and also they have not been paid. So that, that's part of the verification investigations we are doing to try and understand this reverse uh, procurement and to see whether these items are here. And although the PPEs were in place, some local suppliers are to date yet to be paid, something that has raised eyebrows. <laughs> At the same time, it was noted that the taxpayer could lose millions of shillings with the equipment having depreciated in value. Tomorrow we'll meet with the management once again. We'll meet also with the suspe suspended managers also tomorrow in the afternoon. And also with PPOA because there are some issues we really need to understand on this reverse procurement that was done by KEMSA. And especially on the people who have, they have supplied, the items are here. They have not negotiated. So at what price are we talking about now with the current market prices? So that's one of the biggest dilemma and would be wanting an explanation from uh, the management. The committee also decried KEMSA's capacity to cater for all counties as far as supply of the PPEs is concerned, even as it urged the government to disburse the equipment. There's a lot of debate and you know that I think the Senate were discussing it with the governors on the capacity of KEMSA to supply the counties. So this is some of, one of, will be part also of our report on our investigations and our findings of capacity of KEMSA to supply counties. Also noting that also counties, some of them also owe KEMSA a lot of money. Nixon Kisaka, K24 Evening Edition.